Digital is crucial whether at home or at work. If I take the example of the iPhone, uh, everything we do at home in terms of looking for advice or procuring items or our finance is all managed through applications on a device. So my expectation when I come into work every day is to replicate all of those decisions and processes in the office environment. The capability that I'm most excited about is Air Agility. So Air Agility is the tool that we use in the business to digitally twin our operating enterprise. Uh, we're also using it to digitally twin our customers' operations as well. So um, the reason I'm excited is because we've got a great team working with it within Rolls-Royce. Uh, we are very, very close to a customer who's got some really good use cases about how we use the capability. And we've got a vendor who's really, really responsive to all our needs. So when you bring that package together, it's best in class in terms of what we do from a digital point of view. The digital O's origins start with the traditional engineering V framework. So the V starts off with customer requirements that we then distill down into specifications and then we move into detailed design. Once we take that design, we create manufacturing, assembly, test and operation. And in operation we then validate that end product against the original requirements from the customer. So if you take the V and then create a mirror image of that, you end up with a shape that is a diamond. The bottom half is the V, the physical world. The top half of the diamond is the digital representation of that physical world. What we've done in Rolls-Royce is we've then taken the diamond and we've actually made it an O shape. And the reason we've used an O shape is because it's a continuous process that actually exists through life for our products from early design all the way through to our end product uh, and end of operation. So the O just reflects really it's a continuous process. So the digital O is really a means to an end. It's to allow us to reduce the cost and the timeline for the development of our products. So interestingly, I was with a customer not long ago and they were asking about what is digital twinning, what's the digital O, and I used an example. The customer himself was about to compete in a marathon. So I said to him, well, how helpful would it have been if I could have gone back six months ago and created a, a digital twin of you, your digestive system, your nervous system, your skeletal system, and then run millions of scenarios around your training, the facilities, your dietary requirements, so that six months ago you could have been given a plan to enable you to run that marathon quicker and faster today. Would that have been a benefit to you? And of course the customer said, yes it would. And that's really the essence of the digital twin of the digital O, it's to provide that, that model to the customer and simulation which enables us to fly numerous scenarios before we actually make something. So some examples of where we use the digital O and digital twinning would be, for example, our MBSE, so model-based systems engineering, where we now capture that digitally. Another example would be uh, our virtual reality uh, work that we're doing of our factories, so bringing a factory to life with a virtual model. Um, another example again would be the operation of our customers, where we digitally twin that with in Air Agility and we model the customer's enterprise as well as our own. So these are examples of, of digital twinning that sit on the digital line.